Help support the companies that support our community.
To epoxy the bronze rings in, I use a two-part five-minute epoxy. So the one I'm using is JB Weld. I just picked it up at the home store. I'm sure any one of the brands will work. It's a five-minute epoxy. It's the same one I use for the threaded inserts for the bottle stoppers. So it says five minutes. I let it set up for at least 15, and then then I can, then you can start turning or it's dry. Um, yeah, I do the the stainless inserts and. 10-15 minutes and it's good to go and then for the finish I went ahead and, and soaked it all down with walnut oil and it just the maple burl just really pops and then the walnut the inserts I put on the top of it it just really highlights those there it is so I made two of them this one is uh, about an inch and a half tall and an inch and a half in diameter so I use the small inch and a half sorry it's inch and three quarters in diameter and about uh, inch and a half tall. So I use the small inch and a half rings for it. So it's a little pill box. Um, yeah, it's just a, a ring box, a little pill box. So I know I get on these kicks, especially like the basket illusion stuff. I did, I don't know how many projects, but I, I find something new and then one, as I'm turning, whatever it is, I start having ideas for different things. So I got done with the the little lid box I did, and I, I go, you could use them to make little teeny lid boxes too. So that's where we are. I I will stop for a while now. Yeah, I just uh, the bronze rings they work fantastic for doing urns and things like that. It just simplifies everything. It just cleans it up and and you're good to go. But yeah, I did did a bigger one picture of both of them here. So they're just like this. They're just barely bigger than the, than the actual inserts that are inside of it. And then the walnut just little scraps I had. All right. Uh, oh yeah, that was the epoxy. So. It's just, it's JB Weld, but I'm sure there are any brand of five minute epoxy will work fine. So less is more, just put on a little bit. Somebody did have a question on the lidded box that I did a few weeks ago about as far as lining the grain up. So on these two right here, I did the, did them, uh, I just hauled it out, out from the end out of one piece. So I couldn't line the grain back up the way I did them. But if you do, if you part it off and do the two separate pieces and you want to line the grain back up, simply put your epoxy on the both of the rings and then screw the thread or screw the lid on and simply turn it. The epoxy isn't going to dry that fast. Turn it to where the grain lines back up and then let it set up and then you'll be able to pull it off and it'll come back to that position every time with the grain lined up. So yeah, just put the epoxy on just you really only need a little bit the threaded rings they're they're like grooved around there and they're all kind of they're kind of got a little bit of a burr on them it's not sharp or anything but you can feel it when you're under your finger finger across it so once that epoxy dries they are locked in place but it works fantastic yeah just fun little projects i just anytime i do like carving I will carve something and then the next three projects are carving because I, I start getting ideas for other things. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next month, coming up here, Worldwide uh, Wood Turner, Wood Turners Worldwide, the symposium is coming up next month. I will link down below in the description. Um, and I think that's it. March, we have the Oregon Symposium. So I hope to see you there if you live in the area. All right, take care. And we'll see you next week.